Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Mr. Payton's Stories. This is D-Dub Part 2. In the first one, I told you about coaching my girls. In the second one, we talked to you about coaching my boys. Um, the way that happened is, is, like I said, I started coaching when I was about 16. Just parents um, liking how I ran the gym, liking how I responded to their kids and wanting me to coach their kids. Well, that kind of escalated. Once I started teaching um, in a school district that was very close to Desert West, um, I started to put together like fifth and sixth grade teams because my school was a K-6 school. And so I get fifth and sixth graders who could ball. I'd have like little tryouts and everything. And since we didn't play against other schools, I just took them to Desert West and we played there. Well, one year, man, I had a really exceptional team. Uh, shouts out to Big Craig Lacey, Marcel Jones, Kenny Young, Andrew Shirtler. That's just a couple of names. I'm sorry if I forget the other names, fellas, but uh, this squad was unreal, man. Uh, one of the kids on the squad, big fella, big Marcel, I'll never forget when I first met him. He uh, walks up to me and says, I heard you're a coach. And I said, yes, sir. Um, I coach a little. And he says, well, you're going to do a team? I said, I don't know. You know, I've never really done fifth and sixth grade. I usually do all the kids. So, well, I'd like to try out. And you guys got to understand, when this kid walks up to me in sixth grade, let me tell you how big he was. He was about 5'10", and he went about 270. And you guys might be thinking I'm exaggerating. I am not. He was the biggest kid I had ever seen at that size, but he was the most wonderful, intelligent, bright young man I'd ever met. But here's what struck me about him. He probably don't even remember this. So uh, there's a ball near the outside court. You guys, we don't have gym, so it's just an outdoor court. And it's kind of warm. And he sees a ball. He says, well, I'd like to try out. I'm looking at him like, you know, I, I don't know, young man. I mean, he's a big old kid. I didn't think he could run. He says, well, you know, just let me know if you decide you know, to let me try out and have tryouts. And so there's a ball on the ground. He's like, by the way, you drop one of your balls. And he picks it up. So he palms it and hands it to me. I said, uh, young man, do that again. He said, do what? I said, put the ball back down and pick it up again. So he does it with the other hand. I said, you know what? If I have a team, you can try out. Those of you who know what I'm talking about, any kid whose hands are that strong, I'm going to find a place for him. Well, come to find out, he was a phenomenal athlete for that size in particular, but just in general. Well, you can only imagine what this kid ended up doing. He ended up going to Nebraska to play football after being a stellar student. I'm not sure if he was salutatorian or valedictorian, but he was somewhere near it. And then um, he went on to play professionally. Uh, but that squad, man, it was the first time I had to deal with bias. Every time we played a game, they asked for his um, birth certificate. So I just kept a copy in my pocket. Uh, the referees wouldn't call any fouls for me. So that was my first time dealing with bias as a coach. Again, these young coaching experiences, man, just made me the coach that I became. It taught me how to put together teams and it taught me how to teach my teams how to have a certain psyche about how to approach the game. I taught that team, listen, nobody's going to give us any calls. We're not going to get the benefit of the doubt. So we got to make sure we're well ahead at the end of the game so that no foul calls or refereeing could, could uh, affect us. And we did that very effectively. So to all you boys who remember what I'm talking about, uh, who came out of Tomahawk Elementary and played for me at Desert West, you guys taught me so much about coaching back then. So I really appreciate it. But uh, it's just been another uh, one of Mr. Payton's stories. I hope you guys appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button, subscribe, and look forward to more content. Thank you.